Hello, Ileana. My name is Sean Everett. I'm the website analysis expert over at Zucor Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Eric. He sent your website to me for analysis, so let's just get right into it. The first thing I will tell you is that you have a beautiful website. I looked at it, and it, it's interactive. It's interesting. It's got great graphics, great photos, uh, but that's not really why I'm here because that is the aesthetic part of it. What I am here about is about the interior of your site, the things that are actually inside of it, because those will determine whether or not somebody actually comes here to be to your site, to be able to use the uh, different uh, areas you have that you can click and be interactive with. And it's all inside your website now. It just needs a little bit of adjustment. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> the first thing I do when I go to a website is I look at it with this uh, paid tool that I have. It shows me a bunch of the metrics of your site. And the second thing I do is I go and I do a Google search, in this case, for Denver, Colorado roofers. Now, um, the, I have to tell you a little bit about how Google works at this point, and I, I will do my best to not put you to sleep with it. But uh, the Google algorithm is uh, something that Google developed so that they could um, uh, give their customers what they refer to as the most relevant results. Now, relevancy for you and me is different. I want a roofer, for instance, who has good uh, work ethic and quality materials, and they want somebody who has a good website. Now, uh, which one do you prefer? <laughs> I know what I do. But uh, now the first thing you're gonna run across in a, a Google search is, are the paid ones. They call this sponsored, I don't know why, but uh, now underneath that is what we call the map pack. And the map pack is, uh, well, just called that because they're on a map. And uh, the, the value of being here is that you're near the top. And most people, as you know, probably don't scroll very far when they get to you know, a, a Google search. They look for the things that are at the top because they assume that that means those results are ones that are vetted in some way or other. They're not, obviously. It's just the Google algorithm making a decision about them. Now, these folks did something special. They went and they filled out a Google business profile. Now, that is something that is not mystical or anything. You can do it yourself if you want. Um, uh, it is, uh, the goal is to get here, however. And uh, so even though you might fill it out, you might not get here. It, it would take somebody with some experience and some, uh, um, ability to to really make the most of that opportunity. Now, the next thing that we're going to see underneath the map pack here, are what we call the organic search results. These are wholly and completely ordered by the Google algorithm. It decides what goes where. Now, you can see that the first one that comes up is just a list of what uh, the 30 best roofing companies are in Denver. And I'm going to guess that they all use Brava Roof Tile. I don't know what you think, but that's my guess. Now, the first actual roofer that shows up is Interstate Roofing. Now, they call themselves a Denver roofing contractor because they can, uh, because they have a page that says they are, and the Google algorithm does not determine whether or not something is true. Here's their uh, website. Uh, um, and I, I suspect that they have... a. a a lot of offices everywhere, considering they're called interstate. But um, I'm going to, now that we've seen their site, it's not, you know, significantly different. Uh, it's not better or worse than yours in any aesthetic quality. Let me do something for you really quick here. I'm going to select all, copy, and paste your website into this word counter. Here we go. Oh, that didn't work at all because I am sometimes not accurate. There we go. Yep, you have 378 words. Now I'm going to do the same for their website. Here we go. Select all, copy, and paste. And here we go. They have 1,000, oh, 330 words. Now the 1,330 words definitely beats your 338. But uh, the point is that uh, Google likes content. That's one of the, the, the things that the Google algorithm really wants. It figures that people who are interested enough to put time and effort into their website are ones that they want to uh, give to their customers as, as being a good website to look at. So uh, Google actually wants 1,500 words on your homepage. 
So they are running a little short. You could beat them easily by putting more uh, words on your web page. But again, all words are not equal. So you do want to get 1,500, but having the right words is essential too. Let me show you what I mean by that. Now here we go back to that paid tool that I have. What we're talking about now are keywords. And keywords are words that Google expects you to have on your web page because of the industry you're in. It does not know what industry you're in. It just knows that when it does a search for Denver, Colorado roofers, you come up in it with a bunch of others. And it takes all of those websites, extracts all of the words, counts them, and then determines what word appeared most, and second most, and third most, and so on. Now, those become the keywords that uh, Google expects you to have on your website. You have seven of them on your website. Interstate has 1,500. Now, you have a bit of catching up to do here. Um, and it's not impossible. Uh, it's actually quite easy to do. Uh, uh, I mean, on my end, because this is the industry I'm in. But let me show you what their keywords are. Uh, now, uh, keywords can be little uh, phrases, uh, and they're generally about location or they're about materials. Now, you'll see here that it says Denver Roofing Contractor. Uh, you'll also see contractors. You'll see roofing company versus companies. Uh, there we go. And uh, even my own search, I had roofer as opposed to roofers. So, you know, it, it, it doesn't know the difference between singular and plural. It's not that smart. It's just looking for raw data. So all of these variations are uh, covered over here in Interstate Roof. So anybody who types in roofing company is going to find them and roofing companies is going to find them. Let, let me put it to you this way. If, if your web designer put in your website somewhere, uh, gorillas like bananas, well, then what's going to happen is when somebody from Alaska types that into a site, they're going to, your site's going to come up and they're going to say, why is this Denver roofer coming up when I am asking a question about gorillas and bananas? Well, it's because it was on your website. Now, the inverse is true. Think about that for a second. If, if, if you don't have it on your website, you won't come up. And it could be as simple as the difference between plurals and singulars. Um, uh, there's going to be stuff about uh, gutters. There's going to be stuff about tiles. There's going to be stuff about, you know, there's 38 pages of it they have. And, and all of those are relevant uh, uh, to having more keywords. That's one of the things that Google looks for. They figure if you have taken the time and you have all of the uh, words that somebody might search for, then that means that you are more worthy to be at the top of a search. Now, the next thing I'm going to tell you about are backlinks. And backlinks are where you have a, uh, a, a different site that has you on it. And there is a link back to your site on their site. Now, um, that could be something like Yelp, for instance. Um, in fact, let me show you. You have 834. They have 6,600. And here are their backlinks. Um, they have uh, Business Indeed, Homestead, MapQuest, Trello, uh, expertise.com, Yellow Pages. Some of these are like from hiring, like Indeed, I believe, is a hiring site, right? So they were hiring somebody at some point. But because it's a highly rated site, uh, it shows up here. It's actually kind of a, a, a false positive because it has nothing to do with roofing. But here's the way the algorithm thinks. It thinks the more sites you're on, that means the more people are talking about you, that means the more important you are. It's sort of like a person. If more people talk about them, that means they're more famous. So the Google algorithm believes exactly the same thing. You want to get on highly rated sites, not just any old site. Uh, uh, the domain rating is what this number refers to. And that domain rating is a strength of a domain's profile based upon how many backlinks it has. So for instance, uh, Wikipedia has uh, like a 98 because they all have a lot of sites that refer to them. So Google considers them a very important site. Um, now, yellowpages.com, porch.com, and so on. You want to be on any site that is in 70s or above. And like, uh, for instance, 69 here, besthostingprice.com is not a place that people really go to to look for their roofers, believe it or not. Um, so that is not a site you need to be on. But there are many other sites that are not here that you could be on that would be highly rated sites. Now, uh, I'm going to sort of uh, uh, 
show you where the rubber hits the road here. Your backlinks and your keywords have given you this. This is your traffic. This is how many people have clicked on your site as the result of a Google search last month or this month, excuse me. And you are down 33 from the month prior to that. So uh, you had 37 uh, people clicking on your site the month before. Now, uh, this is what Interstate has. 6,500 and I can tell you that means that they have that many more opportunities for somebody to ask for a uh, an estimate to become a customer to put money in the pocket let me show you this my uh, paid tool here tells me that the value of each click that you have is 70 bucks here's the value of their click 79,000 79 100,000 79, now that's a huge number and what you're literally missing out on by being not somewhere near the top of a Google search is money in the pocket. Now, uh, it, it's just going to take uh, some adjustment, putting more, uh, uh, getting uh, first into the Google business profile, putting more keywords on your site and having more uh, backlinks that uh, other people refer to you with. Now, uh, I'm certain that you would probably rather spend more time <laughs> doing roofing than dealing with this sort of thing because even though you could do all of these things yourself they are very time consuming and that's where i think eric will be able to give you a hand if if what i'm saying makes sense to you and here's you know the proof is right here they're at the top and they have you know that many clicks in the month you could come way up from that even if you don't beat them you could come way up from that and uh, that would be money in your pocket so um, thank you so much for watching. I hope I've been helpful to you, and I, I do hope you give Eric a call because he will be able to guide you through the next steps. Thanks for watching. You have a great rest of your day.